Three, two, one. Mm. Ah. Nice. Got it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Hold I don't. Hold on, hold on. Wait, how is this? Welcome to wait who be, donut sorry. Welcome to the unsubscribe podcast. I'm joined here today by Eli Double Fap and Stage right. Bat Batty Streams. God, I love your Instagram name. Can never change. <laughs> like I want to start a new YouTube channel, but like I want to make a YouTube channel, but like do I name it? I have to stick with Batty Streams now. Like. You have to. I have to. You have pigeonholed me. Thank you, Eli. Badgy oh, streams, bad streams, and then baddie on fucking Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me. You're the one that chose baddie streams on IG. Because I can't get baddie. Whose fault is that? Oh, yeah, because some chick has baddie, doesn't she? Some Instagram Actually, girl? Actually, the, the guy who has baddie on Twitter... Yeah, mine wasn't good either. The guy who has Batty on Twitter is like this like chubby little round Asian looking dude. Dude, this is... Those did you sweet. ask to buy it? Mine is... It says Kittles. Guess what it tastes like. Don't say kids. Diddles? No, what? Stop, both of you. What the <laughs> fuck? Oh my God. It says Kittles. Why would you go kids? Diddles? <laughs> like, no! What? What? <laughs> It's like a food. Who the fuck would name so a drink? Kids or diddles? Okay, so today what we're drinking is Bang Mix. This is our new sponsorship. This is so bad. <laughs> oh, it's super sweet. It's honestly, it's, it's awful. <laughs> this is sugar. <laughs> this no tastes sugar. like an. If you're looking for an energy drink that has booze in it, that has no energy, this is like try Kittles. <laughs> <laughs> They're caffeine free, by the way. It's just worse for Loco. <laughs> Why would you name it Kittles? Now that I think about this, this is not a good name. Eli, you just... Who wants some purple Kittles? <laughs> Kids. Not not me. Eli over here slurping on Kittles. <laughs> Guess what it tastes like, though? What rhymes with Kittles? <laughs> Skittles. Yep. Yeah, they probably couldn't say that. Yeah. So why go with Kittles? I have no idea. You could have gone with anything other than Kittles. They're so sweet. <laughs> this so bad. I love pina colada. So I'm sweet. drinking... Frosé, rosé, because I'm fancy. Let's make an energy drink. What do girls hate? Let's rhyme it with grapists. <laughs> oh, no. Not a <laughs> if there's not a grapist flavor, I'm going to be so mad. It's a grape podcast. I don't want to do another grape podcast. Almost got canceled. I mean, that one's way better than that. That tastes like it tastes Kittles. Like, it's like uh, uh, <laughs> Kittles. <I don't> <laughs> it tastes exactly like Kittles. <laughs> What's the last one? What's the... What is this? All right, guys, we have to drink this entire twelve pack this podcast, bro. Strawberry try the, blast. Try the Kittles. <laughs> I hate that name so much. That one's awful. The Frosé Rosé is not good. Nope, I fucking hate That's it. That's fucking awful. That's not a Skittle. <laughs> it tastes like boozy That's fruity a, pebbles. This is like a sour. Bang has never been like number one with. There's only one flavor I liked for like a three month period of time. I was like, man, that's really blue one. No, it's always cherry cherry limeade for me. Fucking cherry limeade is like my weakness. Hmm. Bang is the only flavor I was like, three months. I'm like, I'm over it. I'm like, yeah. Man, if I drink it fast, it'll be better. How's the other one? How that one's probably garbage. What's the last flavor? The last flavor is Strawberry Blast. That sounds terrible, too. We got Frosé, Rosé, Pina Colada. That's pretty normal. And then Kittle, we got fucking the grapest Kittles yeah, over I here. I got Diddles. <laughs> Diddles. <laughs> Diddles Kittles over here. <laughs> They're so sweet, man. That's, They're people, so sweet. People not fucking. I love sweet things. Like That's why I like White Claw and shit like that. But this is fucking awful. This is like drinking Kool-Aid. You hey, Bang, you want to sponsor us for, for our beautiful we'll, review? Yeah. <laughs> Next episode, we're going to have some great things to say, I promise. Yeah. Well, Guys, yeah. do you like alcohol and children? <laughs> <laughs> no. Introducing Kittles. No, 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 no. Well, why won't they sponsor us? We're so confused. Will this be the episode we get canceled on? <laughs> it is then. <laughs> Seven and a half minutes. <laughs> We're in a good start. It's not going well. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll start this one off strong. This, is, this is my subject matter. Fucking anime. 
We got two of the boys watching two new animes that I'm so stuck for. We'll start with Batty because mm. you have watched the Berserk. Mm-hmm. Batty, you watched the the three Netflix movies. Oh yeah, okay. And he's times. read the manga. Batty's coming in here saying, "Quote, go send me one of your texts." Berserk is just bad hentai. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious. For everyone who doesn't know what it is, that's anime porn. For all my uncultured individuals, I want to know the porn baddies watching if he considers that hentai bad, the most vanilla. There's like a tit maybe once in a while, and baddies like, oh god, there was a lot of tit. My, there was a lot of tit. Yeah, there's a lot of tit. There's, there's a lot of. Lot of, lot of last time you watched these three movies, Eli? A lot, of, a lot of great. They're fucking. Wait till you read the manga. If, I've heard you tell me about it a bunch, and, and if you think the and the movies are hentai that is like pg-13 of the manga oh 100 percent the manga is just like woo. there's a lot of grape a lot, a lot more of grape, grape in there, was the a, there was a good deal of grape in the movies oh no the the movies you're like this is this is very tiny amount of grape and compared to the manga series manga is gnarly yeah which if you guys haven't seen it berserk there's three movies on netflix check them out they're good that third one Woo. Ooh, Poor Derek th- Carver. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Derek's like, I've never watched anime before. And then he watched those. <laughs> yeah. Like, Wait, you guys made him watch. That was like his, his intro to anime. Yeah. It was oh, the yeah. three berserk movies on Netflix. He's never going to watch anime again. No. <laughs> He's like, this is just bad porn. This is bad. Like, oh, I don't like this at all. I'm sitting here watching it with Lori casually. And she's like, what the fuck are we watching? I'm like, Eli. She's like, this is an Eli movie. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> is a demon graping that girl? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, and that's it's so that's so fast compared how the manga or the the episodic series happens because yeah. it's three. Yeah, movies. I heard there's like an old '90s anime, right? And apparently, it's a lot more backstory. Yeah, you still don't know a majority of Guts' upbringing because they don't explain there's it. It's just and, a, a blurry uh, uh, flashback of him getting graped. Yeah. And it's it doesn't translate well. Whereas it's like it doesn't translate. It's like that's his, that is Donovan who paid his dad like four silver in order to grape him. I love we're using grapes now as a yeah. If you don't know what we're talking about, just pretend it's not fruit. Yeah, yeah. Take off the G. Yeah. <laughs> but that's like that's the like guts as a child. That's what yeah. he and then he kills Donovan. You didn't see that? Like literally? Uh, no, I think it shows him kill him. In like, in like one of the flashbacks. No, that kills his dad. Oh, it's his father he kills. Okay, yeah, because yeah, he finds yeah. out. Yeah. Because he asks his dad. He's like, yo, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, I did that. And he's hey, like. Hey, dad, what you doing? Yeah, like, so he's what? like. Huh? And he falls back. Dad fucking blocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Donovan is the dude that graped him. <laughs> and Grape's not funny, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Solid start to this podcast. <laughs> I don't know how to... Uh, Kittles and grape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you shouldn't drink bang energy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is really good for bang buck. Our sponsor, don't drink grape. Don't-, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't grape Kittles. <laughs> no, no. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. But... So Donovan did that, and then in the manga, their next mission, Guts just straight shoots an arrow through his fucking neck. And then Donovan's like, oh, and he looks over, and Guts is just like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> and you're like, oh. And then going forward, because the movies are eight years put into three movies oh see i thought it was a couple years i didn't realize how long well mangas yeah you missed a fuck the manga like really because you don't even know griffith's backstory with the nope. older guy, the the one dude that's like griffith you're beautiful the, the king guy yeah. yeah there's like none of that explained is he like was griffith's one of the king guy's little boy boys yep. yeah i and, thought i kind of picked up on it but like they don't that's why I was so confident. Like I can beat them, and yeah. the king was like, "You can't beat them." This generals are like, "I don't know how you're gonna beat them," but Griffith shows up, and the king's like, mm. yeah, that, mm-hmm. "That fucking boy, that boy booty." Yeah, he was ever what that we call what, boozy. Booty? Yeah, <laughs> boozy. He was <laughs> there. It is. There's a word I was looking for. Boozy. No, bussy. Boozy is that squirrel that everybody in Texas is obsessed <laughs> with. <laughs> but that's what Bucky happens. the Beaver. Some may say. So you miss a lot once you read the manga. Now, if you go back and read the manga, you're going to be like, holy shit, I'm caught up on everything. And it makes way more sense. 
Did you finish the first one? Mostly. There's a little left in there, and this is not great. So I'm hoping this strawberry is a little better. A let, let's see. Let's see. It, it has the... It doesn't smell better. <laughs> it's like a fine wine rolled around a little bit. Mm. Nope. I like to put like the three elements. It's like, yo, this has sodium, magnesium, and potassium in it. It also has <sighs> fucking shit in it. Yeah. It's fucking <laughs> Straight terrible. Straight doo-doo. Dude, it's not good. I'm sorry. These are not good. No. These are too sweet. They're, it's unbelievably sweet. Like, I I just... Like, White Claws, we can just... Or fucking... It, it, whatever. The seltzer... What? Uh, what? Who's our old sponsor? <laughs> Lone River. <laughs> Lone River what, Ranch Water. Ranch Water. water. Ranch water. Ranch water. Ranch water. <laughs> you only remember Lone River? <laughs> you are like, Lone River... I don't remember the rest of it. What was it? <laughs> 20 podcasts ago. <laughs> and then Donut, a boy, started watching. Um, I, Oh, shit. Slime. It's a long title. Slime. I know it's slime, that but it was like I was reincarnated as a slime. That one time I was reincarnated as a slime. What do you think? That's so good. It's really cool. John and I have been watching it together, and it's like super good. You got this Japanese dude, and he's just like an everyday worker. He's a virgin, 27 <laughs> years old. So good. He gets fucking. Have you watched it? No. I'm, Bro, it's so gets, fucking I'm good. I've wanting to, but I couldn't oh, find like. This is episode one. Uh, this is like literally 10 minutes in. Yeah, a robber comes up to him on the street and fucking stabs him in the heart. And he's Spoilers! Bleeding, and he's bleeding Man, out. character's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's bleeding out on the street, but then he wakes up in like an, basically an MMO. And he's a slime, just a simple little slime. He's like, where, where am I? What's going on? This like is level one monster in a dungeon of slime. Yeah. Cause, and he started complaining about when he was dying. So this, whatever is the AI that's like takes him to this thing. It's when you're complaining about stuff, it's build your character. So he's like, I hate being, I'm going cold. It's like resistance to cold. Or resist, hate, uh, resist to heat. Yeah, too. heat, cold, pain. He's like, oh, I'm in so much pain. It's like, it resists the pain. It. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to die. And vulnerability. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, boop, and he becomes this slime. <laughs> and he's just like the ultimate being. But they give him the um, the one where he's able to... Uh, pred- predator. Yes. Oh, they dude. They give him Predator. So he can absorb... Like, at, he just literally go around a creature and absorb. We're it. talking like D&D fucking gelatinous cube style. Just <laughs> yes. He takes yeah. all their abilities and their strength. And he figures this out like super early on when he respawns. He's in the most powerful dungeon ever when he he comes to life in the most powerful dungeon mm-hmm. with the god pretty much of that area. Yeah. And they ah, should I go further? I think it's episode one. I haven't spoiled don't spoil all the good good. Okay. This is episode I one. It. I want to watch it. Okay, okay, so he just becomes the most powerful being in the world almost. I want to watch this it's later. It's so good. Like I, He's about to get to the really good part where I know what's going to happen next. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I, oh. Just, I just got to season two. John and I binged like 10 uh, hours of this. How many, how many episodes are there? Is it like 10 or so? Or? Like 46 total. Oh, there's a bunch. The yeah. total totality. Uh, first season is like, I think it's 12 okay. episodes a season, I think. Yeah. And it's, dude, it's really good. And he just keeps leveling up and leveling up and leveling up and like getting allies. And he's just the most powerful thing in the entire world. And everyone always doubts him. They're like, you're just a little slime. And he's just like, and just like kills everything. I want to say it so bad on this, but I won't. But wait till he gets mad. You're going to be like, because he hasn't gotten mad. He's like such a chill dude. He's like, well, I'm the most powerful thing in the world. Wait till he agrees to get mad. And then you're gonna be like, what the fuck? Like that was my first. I remember I was just on my couch, like, <laughs> what? What? This is the most dope thing ever. It's fucking baller. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. And then the other anime that I would suggest is Tokyo Revenger, because I keep hearing about Tokyo Revenger and I haven't seen it yet. I, everybody I've heard that has watched it has said it's fucking awesome. So I, uh, gonna I have to gonna have to do that for sure. Mm-hmm. Now the only anime I really like, because I have I watch My Hero because they're coming out once a week. I watch um, uh, what's it uh, the uh, in his ah dang it Words. Demon School Demon School mm-hmm. Demon School is hilarious. It's just a funny ass anime. It's a human that's adopted by a demon. Like the human is treated like shit, 
and he's like, oh, like literally just treated like garbage. And then the parents sell him to a demon for good money. Good. Yeah, great parents. Hey, if you get sick of John, you could always sell him to a demon school. I, yeah, yeah, I need to sell him to a demon. <laughs> so yeah, like, very soon. The, demon. <laughs> the demons like takes him and he's like, he has this mustache curled, all that stuff. And he's like, hey, okay, your parents sold me to you. You're, I'm a demon. And he's like, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, okay. And he's like, here's your new room and everything. It's this, he, the demon lives in a mansion. And he's like, oh, okay. He's like, will you be my grandchild? It's like, and he That's can't weird. say no. Like one, the human, he's so polite. He's so nice. He's the kindest kid. He's like, okay. And he's like, oh, thank the grandpa's like, oh, thank God. I would have had to kill you otherwise. <laughs> and he's like, huh. But now he lives in a giant mansion and he's just now finding his grandpa's or his who adopted him as the most powerful demon in that realm. And it's this human that when his first day of school, he's like, go to school, grandson, I fucking love you. He's like, okay. He's like, blend in. I'll give you this ring. You can fend it better. So he's like, okay. So demons have wings and all this other stuff. So he like goes up to school. They sing the pledge at the beginning. The pledge is about murdering humans and how fun it is. <laughs> and he's just standing like, <laughs> looking left and right. Demons are around. He's like, I don't like this at all. And then the number one strongest demon challenges him at that school. Cause he like does something. He's like, uh, and he's really good at dodging and he can't fall. So the demon's like throwing all this stuff. He's like, woo, 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 dodging. And he beats him just by that. And then the number one demon's like, I pledge my loyalty forever. You are my commander. And he like bows down and all that. And you have like, and that's how he gets and all. He's so fucking I'm weird. Fucking, I love it. I love it so much. I'm like, yes, yes. This is the best thing in the world. Jesus. Uh, what's the next subject? Batty. We, we came into this podcast with <laughs> guys. If you I'm don't, still just not over how awful this bang. <laughs> this is the worst fucking tasting. I had shit. to drink Gatorade to wash it down. I'm sorry, Gatorade. Beta, Can we say Gatorade? Gatorade. 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 Why can't we say Gatorade? I don't know. Are they gonna sue us? <laughs> that podcast has ten thousand subscribers and talk bad sorry. about us. Gatorade suing us. <laughs> <laughs> no more podcasts. Gatorade it's podcast. so bad. I'm not. I'm not drinking it. I'm not, it's awful. How are you drinking that? Mm, you just drink more than I did. You drink two. Well, I mean, not. They're not empty. Like the Skittles, the best one is just sugar. I hate this I so one. much. I gotta finish one. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. Batty. 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 I'm gonna throw up. Batty, no, it's batty, awful. Batty. Batty. It's so <gasps> sweet. Is there even sugar in this? <laughs> no, that's There's the no bad sugar part. In it. <laughs> What it's, sweetener did they it's use? Artificial <laughs> everything. Alcohol from cane sugar. <laughs> this has no ingredients. Carbonated water, alcohol from cane sugar, natural flavors. Don't know what that means. Citric acid, sodium, oh. acid, potassium, phosphate, di diabetic. Diabetes? Yeah, it tastes like sucralose. it. Sucralose. That's where it is. I definitely have diabetes. Sucralose. No, we both have I I have diabetes. Like, there's no chance I don't have diabetes at this point. Betty has type 1. I mean, type 2. 2. That's the one I forced upon myself. Yeah, not type <laughs> 1. Which there's apparently a big fight between those two. I was looking online. I was like, my buddy was like, yeah, there's like a debate on type 1 versus type 2. It's like, type 1 you're born with. Type 2 you've you forced on yourself through bad habits. Literally forced. <laughs> like, do I need a third muffin today? <laughs> no, but. <laughs> I want a second muffin. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, Matrix. Oh, yeah, the Matrix Ooh. trailer came out. Yeah, Matrix Resurrection. Resurrection. Yeah. Okay, okay, so real quick. Matrix. Matrix Reloaded. Reloaded. Revolution. Yep. And then Resurrection, Resurrection. or Resurrected? It's Resurrection. Resurrection. Yeah. I, I don't count the last two. The all I remember from those two movies is they changed the Oracle chick. The key guy was cool. And then they had a giant underground sex rave party. Oh, my God. And then they had fucking. Um... Oh, there was the twins. Those they were pretty cool. Yeah, too. That was I the, the second one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about Colonel Sanders. He was like the owner of everything. Yeah, Matrix. the. Uh... No, what they call him? The, uh, Colonel Sanders. Yeah, yeah, Colonel. That's what they called him in there. Yeah, Colonel Sanders. Neo, Neo, Neo yeah, the creator. Like, he was Colonel Sanders. The construct. The co there it is. Yeah. yeah. But the guy they, that but owns Neo, KFC. Yeah, Neo walked in. He's like, 
Colonel Sanders, why are you here? And he's like, I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. Batty, have you ever seen... Movie, right? What's his name? Uh, the Construct? Yeah, The Construct. I'm construct pretty sure. Matrix. Construct? The, the Construct? Yeah. Batty. Oh, God. How many Matrix pornos are there with oh, The Construct? No. All right. In in the comments below, <laughs> let us know the, the title architect. of your favorite... The Architect. Yeah, let us know the favorite, your favorite Matrix porno name. Go. Dude, Colonel Sanders was the architect. Yeah, he definitely was. Yeah. Would you like my His secret like recipe? Like my <laughs> my secret the, recipe. 17 secret spices. <laughs> so that's how you know how powerful that man was. At that was all he was doing. He started KFC <laughs> and then he started the Matrix <laughs> and imprisoned every human being on the planet. <laughs> they must like my 17 secret ingredients. <laughs> Is that what the tubes into everybody was? Yeah, it's, it's just liquefied like... KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Fried he's chicken. Sitting a, he's sitting in a, a bubble of the seventeen. Just spot. gravy. He's just, just, <laughs> just gravy. <laughs> <laughs> they wake up and Wah! they look out as fucking chicken drumsticks as far as they can see with humans attached. Like when Dio wakes up, it's like <laughs> just drumsticks and oh, gravy. No. This is like the crossover. I didn't know I ever needed. <laughs> KFC, yeah. the Matrix. He's up there like yes, feast, my children. <laughs> <laughs> they all have type two diabetes. Feast my children. <laughs> In their in their little pods, <laughs> Neo wakes what up and just spooning fuck? fucking gravy into his mouth. <laughs> oh man, this is delicious. Yeah, that's how I remember the Matrix too. <laughs> what happened? Why did the Matrix two and three fail so bad? Did they? They were. I was not a fan awful. of them. People didn't like those. They didn't they I, like I rush know. them out like one then two like a like. What what happened back then? There's a big difference because you had the one that was like a, the a hit, and then a, it was a few years later, and then like two and three have to come out, and yeah. you you didn't have. I'm googling it because one was 1999. I remember I watched it probably 93 times oh, that yeah. summer, and uh, me and uh, Jeffrey Langley's grandmother watched me, and we watched. We watched that so many times. That's the only movie so we watched. We watched dope. it every single day. Dude, that MP5 scene. I I don't know if you guys did this. Did you guys get the mod for Mad Max? No, not Mad Max. Um, what was Bullet Time video game? Uh, uh, Thirteen. No, it was Max Payne. Max, Max Payne. Payne. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Did you guys get the mod for Max Payne to do the Matrix? Nope. The the um, the lobby scene. Mm -mm. So one of the first mods for Mad or uh, Max, Max Payne was the lobby scene in Matrix. You walk through the metal detector and you are Neo, but like, beep beep, it's <laughs> and you so just awesome. melt everyone. It was one of the best fucking mods of all time. It was one of the first mods I've ever downloaded back in then. That was one of the first video games that like really gave me nightmares because remember his his wife and his kid gets killed and you're in his brain. And you're having to like hop around these little the spots in his trails. brain, but his baby's crying. Yeah, blood trails, but his baby's crying the whole time. Yeah, and I don't remember if he was crazy or he was fucked up on something. But all you can hear is his baby crying. And you're trying to get to the room, and you finally get there, and like the cradle's knocked over and, and blood. Yeah, you're a, like, what the fuck? Yeah, that was like early. God, that was early two thousands. Ninety nine, I think that came yeah. early two thousand one or ninety nine. That game is like. When did that game fucking come out? It was crazy because it was one of the first video games that featured like slowing down time and dodging bullets and being able to shoot people and mm -hmm. slowing down time stuff. 2001. Yeah. It was such a good concept too. It was the first because you have Matrix and then you had that. And that yeah. bullet time was fucking phenomenal back then. I loved it so much. But yeah. Matrix 2 and 3, I don't know what they did at the box office. They did release in the same year, though. They were like back to back. One, two, two and three? three? Two, then no, three. two and three were a year apart. No, they were same year. No shit. Two and three were the same year? Yeah. What year? Um, 2002 or three, I bet. Three. 2003, I'm guessing. doesn't say the years. Doesn't say the years. Nah, just, just type in Matrix just... Two. Watch, I got you. Matrix Two years, two thousand three. There you go. Holy shit! Yeah, Matrix Reloaded was May. Revolution was November. See, it was real Damn. quick. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Damn, and those were huge budget films. Like yeah, hundreds of millions of dollars of. 
I think. $150 million. Holy crap. That was Matrix Reloaded, 150 million. Basically, mil. everyone's just saying it's because they went too big, too quick. Well, yeah, they, they just they dumped as much into it without explaining anything. And uh, it was visually fucking beautiful, though. Yeah. That, I mean, that broke the going into VFX. That was one of the first. Uh, I'll say, oh, yeah, speaking of VFX, that's like the Bible. Just Yeah, a lot of bullet one. shots. Bullet bullet time. Bullet time, yeah. There was one director that did bullet time before them for a commercial for water or a soda. Um, fuck, I forget who they are. It was the only time bullet time's been done right before. And it was literally right before the yeah. Matrix. Then Matrix came out. They did bullet time. But then you had um, the 100 um, Agent Smiths. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whole, yeah. A bunch of dudes that kind of look like Agent Smith. Yes. Yeah, and was, then they did the 3D of them, yeah. too. Yeah. That was the third one when yep. he had all the Agent Smiths standing around. He had the, to, the pole scene when he's just yeah, spinning that, around. That, 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 yep. I feel like didn't Cordor do a breakdown on that entire scene? And mm-hmm. it's just fucking hilarious that I remember watching Cordor, uh, I think it was their Cordor Crew channel. Yep. Did it. And. They break down like you just see tons of just random dudes that kind of look like Hugo Weaving but aren't him. <laughs> just like close they, they're like, enough. You're close enough. We don't need to do anything to your face. Good enough. Then there's like random parts of just guys swinging their fists at nothing because they're in the background. And it's like you don't see because it all happens so quick. But when you frame by frame it, it it's it, fucking hilarious. Yeah, it it's, breaks down dude, very just badly. In a mosh pit in the no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it literally looks there's like a mosh like, pit circle. Fighting or there's dudes getting punched when they're not actually getting punched because like. The choreography was just slightly off for the background stuff. It's like a guy was like getting his face thrown, but there's nobody around him. Dude, when you watch stuntmen react or because they have that stuntman react, but you yes. get to see how like stuntmen are waiting for their Cues. turn to get punched. Yes. Because they're like, if it is one character and you have everyone around that character, the stuntman will be like, they're like doing, they have to look like action. They're busy. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're busy, busy. And they're like, yo, 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 ready? <laughs> and they like fly off. And sometimes the stuntman is just like, I'm just going to fling that way anyways like flings 360 and like i i guess you got hit whatever but you don't notice in the moment yeah it's like those quick scenes another one that got tore up for it because it wasn't quick enough was one of the the last jedi i think it was the last jedi the new star wars movie oh god where there's the uh oh the this, last beat before uh when where, all the red guards are fighting yes with who's the emperor uh, uh, it's not the emperor. It's fucking Snoke. Snoke, um, the uh, worst. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was, but they're all fighting there, dude. This it's hilarious. And you get to see him like getting. They the, like flip for no reason, yeah, don't they? There, there's these background ba- like they're they kind of look like the original uh, Star Wars Imperial Guards with the red garb and shit on, and they're all fighting Ray and um, Kylo. 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 Okay. Kylo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're fighting Ray and Kylo and. These dudes are just like doing backflips, getting thrown when nothing's happening, or they'll incorrectly react to getting hit. Like uh, they'll they'll take a right hook and they'll fly in the opposite direction. And God, everything about the fight is is so terribly choreographed. It's like me punching you right now, and your head flings out. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <A lot of> <laughs> <laughs> or like there's guards uh like there'll be a cool one-on-one guard scene fighting ray and then in the background you see another guard just twirling his staff <laughs> and flipping backwards and flying you're yeah. like what the fuck or they're just that? spinning they're like i gotta make up time <laughs> so it's like a jazz squad yeah. in the background dude it's like we're <laughs> pu- 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 <laughs> it's the you're force like, oh, guys no. dude and unfortunately for the movie with that scene is they they put so much emphasis on the t- on the scene and it was not quick camera movements with it. So you easily pick up all this silly shit in the background with the matrix. That entire scene is rotations and the camera's moving. There's nothing really static going on. So it's your eyes are focused on the center of the scene. You're focused on Neo and, and uh, uh, agent Smith Smith. fighting each other versus star Wars, where it's just like camera slow move (laughs) guy flipping. You see for no reason. Like, what are you doing? Like, and it's just like ah so it, it's cool to see like or not cool to see i guess <laughs> it ruins <laughs> it actually clearly didn't ruin or didn't learn it from anything i'm gonna have to go back and rewatch that so the new matrix the reason we're talking about this the new matrix trailer dropped and it's very confusing uh-huh. yeah is it and or do no. you did you watch the teaser before the trailer no i didn't i just watched the trailer 
Do you want confusion? Watch the teaser because it is completely different. They don't show the teaser. Doesn't show uh, Morpheus. Doesn't Young show Morpheus. Neo, doesn't show Neo. Doesn't show um, Trinity. Trinity. So you don't even. It doesn't even show those characters. characters. Yeah. So you go into the teaser like, I went to the teaser. I was like, I don't know, a fucking single person in this movie now, at all. The teaser like, was. Why is John Wick in my Matrix movie right now? <laughs> yeah. They don't even show like anyone. You you just are introduced to new characters. I was like, what what the fuck is going on right now? Do you think mm-hmm. it's gonna be a good movie or a bad movie? I think it's gonna be really good. Like, I have a general idea of what I think happens. Oh, okay, okay. I was not expecting that. Ooh. I thought it was gonna be awful. To be totally honest, no, I'm thought, scared. I'm I'm cool. terrified it's gonna be an awful movie. No. So the third one ended. I just watched the third one with John. John mm-hmm. wanted to watch the entire Matrix series, and the third one ends with Neo. He doesn't he, die, right? No, he defeats Smith, and then the big godhead of the Matrix grabs him. They lower him down and take him away, and that's the last you see of him. Yeah, but because they so, agree, right, on like. You, he said, "Free you will, leave, yeah. You leave uh, Zion alone, and I'll defeat Smith for you." And that was their deal. And so, oh, and, versus, yeah. And so the new one, they, I, they, it looks like they reinserted him back, back into, into the, the Matrix, Matrix. Oh, and, and he uh-huh. doesn't know what's going on. And they're feeding the other pill. Yeah, they're giving him. He's been taking the blue pills because it shows him throw them all yep, out. Yeah, of one. Yeah, it even yeah. shows him take blue pills. And so he's at his psychiatrist. Mill Patrick Harris did. is his psychiatrist out of nowhere. And he's like, I'm having sense. these flashbacks. I'm seeing all this stuff. And like he's seeing the coding on the walls. And mm-hmm. and so I guess I I guess he stops taking his blue pills. And then that's when in the trailer the new Morpheus shows up and he takes a red pill. And then it shows like all the crazy action shit. So he didn't even know who he was before then. They like yeah, wiped yeah, yeah. a bunch okay, of Okay, okay. I had forgot how the third I haven't seen the Matrix There's been a movies long time, yeah. at in whole I fuck ten years probably. Yeah. I just watched them like last week or I wouldn't have put all oh, that shit together. Oh my god, that makes so much more sense. Okay, so it's okay, him, okay, okay, it's okay, him okay. waking up a second time from the Matrix. Yeah, like what the fuck's going on? Same for I forgot that it was called Zion too. Fuck. Yeah. Do you think that? Do you think they left it alone though? Do you think they really did? I don't know. They're probably still having big orgies in a cave down there. Dude, that's one of my favorite MTV skits that they did. Have you guys watched that? Mm. I think so. MTV SNL. MTV the Zion skit with um. Keanu Reeves. No, it is (laughs) Pete Davidson. Bro, this is he wasn't even born. Yeah, he was. He was the Matrix came out. He (laughs) wasn't even born. Wait, 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 wait. What did I say? SNL? You said MTV. No, you said that's what I said SNL. MTV. MTV. Matrix. Type parody. Oh, I was right. I was right. Zion! Hear me! He's having a huge orgy at his place later tonight. At least that's what many of us have heard. Wow, there was actually a whole bunch. Parody. Uh, Orgy. (laughs) Because you said orgy. Well, yeah, because that's what it was. They were just fucking and dancing. That that's the best. That's part. literally an orgy. There was angry, loud music, body sweat, sweaty fluids cake everywhere. Yeah, dude, we could pause it. And there there was six. The rivers flowed with cum that day. Yeah, they did. Who was the Andy? What's his name? Milan August. Milan August. No, Andy, Warhol. the blonde guy that was the weird one in a lot of skits. Andy. Oh, Dick. Andy Dick. Yep, that's it. God, you we see Andy you Dick. did it. Is that the old dude? We had a TV show. He did at one point. Didn't he grape some people, though, God. and got canceled? <laughs> did he? I, I'm not know. surprised. Andy Green? Wasn't it Green? Or Green? You're saying no, Tom like, Green? Tom watch, Green. We can't Tom. watch this. This is nine minutes. Okay, well, I'll, I'll send it to you guys. There's a lot of names being thrown around right now. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what's going the on The Tom anymore. Green Show? Yeah. It's this cool. is the Tom Yeah. That dude was fucking weird. It's not my he favorite the, show. That was a weird show. Wait till you, I'll send you guys this afterwards. We'll put it in the podcast. It's I'm fucking ridiculous. It I'll try to remember. Sandy Dix is like, yeah, the orgies keeps going, <laughs> and they focus around. <laughs> it's all about that orgy scene where it's like, <laughs> why was there a cave orgy? Because they were having a rave. Where uh, else are you gonna have an orgy, Patty? It's the end of times. You're do, you, they okay, eat, end of times. You're right. You're right. End of times. Okay. They eat oatmeal every meal. You see yeah. what they eat. The, uh, fucking a rave with an orgy is the highlight of their life. So why would that not be going down? <laughs> it's like they think they're all going to die. And then, and then Neo wins. And everyone's st- that oatmeal everyone's standing going. around covered in cum. And they're just like, Neo won. Um, 
<laughs> oh no! So you have to go to work. The next <laughs> they, day, just start, like, they just <laughs> start just scooping <laughs> off the cum. They're just sliding it off. You just, <laughs> that was an episode on Rick and Morty. Um, uh, Summer and Rick, they did uh, the world ending party. Hall. Oh my god, and the world didn't end, so they kept going. So they kept the going to yes, another yes, world yes. that was ending. Yes. But then the dude woke up and he's like, He fucked his dad, right? <laughs> the little worm guy. He's like, Goes into work the next morning. He's like, Well, the world didn't end, dad. And he's like, Mom's not talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same thing that that happened in the Matrix. Yeah, it's that awkward moment. You're like, oh, they're all like, oh, Neo one, fuck. It's like, hey, Steve, sorry about the cum. The cum. (laughs) (laughs) It's that next day at work when you're showing up to the office or college, your your cave office. Yeah, and you're like, oh no, (laughs) Steve, I need I need you in the office right now. We We have a HR needs to talk to you. So apparently you came on a few people. You came on Steve and you gave Catherine pink eye. Um, <laughs> you did too. We all did. Yeah, yeah, we all gave Catherine pink eye. First off. First off. <laughs> Neo wasn't supposed to win. Yeah. We didn't know this shit was going down like it did. I thought it was the last day of our life. <laughs> So the Matrix, <laughs> the Matrix. Go check it out. Go guys. check out the Matrix. <laughs> oh no, man! I, I don't know. Hopefully, it's good. I just I'm worried. It looks good. I um, didn't like the. Never mind. It's back to anime. I, just, I hate the 3D stuff in anime. <laughs> Bad stuff. This what I was thinking of th- a crazy 3D effects and shit like that because of how awful they were in Reloaded and Revolution. And then, and then I was like, I hope they don't do that again. No, I think it's. I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be much better. So. It's a lot easier today with the what we have available for VFX yeah. versus now versus back in the day. But it is very much budget dependent, and then how what VFX team they hire, and then you're just like, oh, for the best. Like, you're like, can you do 3D stuff like that? Hmm? Can you do cool guy 3D stuff? Have you not seen any of my 3D work? No. I've oh never seen your 3D God. work, actually. Have you? I have, like, I either, have you? either. No. I have, like, renders of my 3D Tyrannosaurus, like, fucking biting in people and stuff like that. Can you make a 3D Tyrannosaurus eat me? Yeah. Yeah. Can it be calm in it? The render time. Are... Be... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're coming in it? Wait, what, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> You're... Daddy, no! <laughs> yeah, you're fucking the Tyrannosaurus, and it's like... Rah! No, <laughs> no. I never meant for this to happen. I render it out, back. send it to you guys. <laughs> Step Tyrannosaurus, why? Yeah. Donut's like I said, I'm humming to it. I'm like, oh, that makes it. I, like, I did a lot of render <laughs> time for this. <laughs> well, I already rendered. It. <laughs> <laughs> I was just singing to it, Eli. I was the I heard humming, not humming. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Batty gets eat either way, right? Yeah. Oh, oh the, there's yeah. not supposed to be a step rex. In <laughs> step rex. Step rex. Why are you eating Batty? <laughs> this is why we shouldn't ever film a podcast again. <laughs> every time. Why do we keep doing this every Great week? Great kittles and cum. Like, yeah. what the fuck? They're on track for video game and they're doing, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this company wants to sponsor your puck. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the first like real sponsorship we get for the podcast. Yeah, so in the contract, like, you cannot talk about dick or cum 10 minutes before or 10 minutes after the spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the meme with the kid with the red face and the veins are popping yeah, out. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> unsubscribe, unsubscribe, trying not, unsubscribe cast, trying not to talk about cum. <laughs> <laughs> Kill sweating a whole bunch. Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh no! These are fucking wretched. Yeah, guys, don't these are the bangers. worst drinks I've ever had. We've been through like four white claws by now. A piece of it. I don't want to. I can't finish one. I, I opened a second to see if it was better. It's I not. finished one. I'm still like a quarter. To go. I'm literally like halfway through this, and I'm like, this is a lot of sugar. It's just so. Sweet. They need way more alcohol if you're gonna make it this sweet. Like it's not worth it. I'd rather drink cum. <laughs> I'd rather drink semen. <laughs> we just lost another sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> you guys couldn't go ten minutes without saying cum, could you? Oh, we need a word for cum. We have grape. 
We yeah, got great. No, I think I think comes fine. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Don't I'll, don't take this from me. Okay. I want some scrum <laughs> and some kittles. I don't want kittles. No. Okay. I don't oh. want kittles. Def- <laughs> Double canceled. Double canceled. No, no. Uh, I don't want to drink this one now. <laughs> Oh, you know man. it reminds me of Scrum Kittles. Purple Kittles. So The Matrix. <laughs> Back <That's> so bad. <laughs> you guys seen The Matrix trailer? <laughs> oh, man. And then we had MTG written down. I don't know. Okay, first off. Baddie's got a rock. This? So, okay. If you're, uh, you have a rock just in the middle, people okay, are going to be like, This is more than what? just a rock. Okay, okay. I told Cody about this when you were setting things up. So, uh, one of my viewers, uh, JK Hunter, actually made the cool little care packages for all of us. Hell yeah, dude. He gave me a Nintendo um, 64 mm-hmm. and his... a bunch of games. Oh. I, yeah, he I got a up. rock. Oh. I'm kidding. Okay, so it's not just a rock. So, uh, if you're if you're listening, fuck you. Uh, if you're watching on the screen, you'll see a little rock in a glass case right now. It is actually a piece of Dracula's castle from Romania, where I guess uh, he has family, and when he brought home a giant brick of it, because they used to... Apparently, part of it collapsed, and they used to just sell that shit as like a souvenir. You'd buy a piece of the castle before it became super illegal to do that. When he brought it home, it broke, and he gave me a little piece of it and put it in this little fucking case, with like a cross and shit on it. And it's gonna be part of the D and D room because that's spooky, dude. That's fucking gangster. That's so, super fucking cool. So this comes from a dude in Kansas that is just hitting rocks in his backyard. No, he made this. He made this a guy thing. in Kansas is breaking rocks in his backyard, and he's like, "This came from Romania." <laughs> He made all of it. I'm joking. Stop this <laughs> There's just a dude in Kentucky. He's like, bah. okay, that's from Dracula's castle. <laughs> that one is from Berlin Wall. <laughs> Some nerds can buy this shit. Yeah, no one can verify this shit. It's fucking rock. <laughs> we'll put it on a little. Rock. <laughs> Them geologists ain't real. Yeah, ain't no one know this shit. I'll put it in a nice box, mark up the price. But it looks super cool, and that's really also super cool because the next big Magic the Gathering set is called Innistrad, Midnight Hunt, and then one after that coming out in November is called the Crimson Knight? What is Crimson Dracula's Dawn? name? Huh? What's Dracula's name? Wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this is your rock. What is Dracula's name? No, I just watched the Netflix show. Oh, I know, me too. Ago. I was right trying to remember his name. I haven't watched a Netflix show, and I know it. Oh, it's it really feels good. good. He really does people it's dirty. Like Vladimir something. You got the first I one? I know. I know his first. I can't think. It starts with a T? It starts with a T? Fuck. Uh-huh. Last name starts with a T. You got Vlad, right? I, I, I know it's Vlad. I can't. I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to just make it up. I don't know. Come on. It's like a dragon name. No. What Hammer, it? Warhammer. Think of it. Thor? No. Vladimir Thor. T, T, Tempest. Tempest. You got Tempest for D&D. Tempest, oh, for, it, uh... Tempest is for D&D. Tempest is for Vlad Tempest. Yeah. Hmm. Do you know what made him baller? Because he impaled people on fucking oh, sticks Vlad in their the life. Oh, Vlad yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Vlad the Impaler was Vlad Tempest. Right up their buttholes. Yeah, literally. That's what yeah. he did. And he practiced what? on rats. In prison, he was locked if up. If you for have a long kid time. and it likes killing animals, get him checked out because he's probably gonna turn into Dracula. If you have a kid that's killing animals, fucking turn him in. Period. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that you should abort them. It's At a little thirty. Late. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> Three hundred sixty <laughs> months. <laughs> <laughs> My kid's super into torturing animals. We gotta take him down. Drop him off at the fire station. <laughs> Drop him off. Fire station. <laughs> Sir, so your child's 13. Yeah, I was yeah. just about to say Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Away. Squeal off in your Hellcat. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. All right, John, here's your new home. My kid doesn't torture animals, by the way. Yeah. I'm throwing that out there. If your kid does torture animals, leave him at the fire station. Sir, he's 13. Yeah. And he's irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> like his dad. <laughs> <laughs> See you when you're all grown up. <laughs> Can't wait till we're buds. Fist bump. I'm out. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Magic the Gathering. Yeah, the new set, Innistrad. There's a set that comes out today. Actually, I'm drafting. As soon as we're done here, I'm going to uh, be part of a draft for oh, Commander. God. You are so nerdy Dude, I right now. love I this love shit. It. What do you mean now? I've always been a giant nerd. It's MTV. Just... But you never played EDH until recently. No, yeah. I, I So 
I had played standard, regular Magic a little bit, like a tiny bit, back in like 2003 the ex- or some shit, forever ex- ago. Expensive format. Yes. MT, sorry, MTG is way more expensive than EDH. EDH, yes, you can spend a fuck ton on Commander. Commander, because you, you need one of every card. In standard, you need four? Yeah. Four of every card. And well, it you gets, don't need four of every card, but if you want to be competitive. Good ones, yeah. You have to spend. It's like I remember when uh, Frex like thousand dollar dealer or something like that came out. So your decks are like thousands of dollars. Shit per sixty cards. Sixty card deck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's like Ugh. one, and then you have like multiple decks to be competitive, and they people take it fucking serious as fuck. Where EDH is not as it's competitive scene, but not as competitive. It's not as widely played. Yeah, and you'll spend a couple grand. I didn't realize. Like I told you, my Prosh deck, I was like, oh shit, I got like... Prosh the Skyrider? Yeah. How much is Mana Crypt and Mana Vault? Depends on what's printing. There's some that are like... Oh, I got the... Glory, uh, expensive Mana Crypt. Expensive. Yes. 500-ish? There you go. 100 bucks. But you need like four of them? Oh, no. So I have... But just Wait, Mana Vault is the expensive one. Is it, Lori? Let me see. We're looking at price. Oh, these are wait, no mana, mana vault. Huh. What is it? Five hundred. Yeah, mana so, crypt. If you have one of the old ones, they're still only around a hundred or so. But yeah, yeah. But you like that's one card of fucking a hundred. Like I didn't realize how much <laughs> mine were. I was like, get yeah. a beta edition of mana vault is around nine thousand. Three hundred bucks. I have the three hundred dollar yeah, yeah. one, but it's still, but for cards that that are like staples in the like the, the good Alt- shit, dude. That Phyrexian altar I sent you, yeah. So around eighty bucks on the the newer printings, like Phyrexian. The- was it Phyrexian altar or what? MTG is Phyrexian altar. I think use TCG. That's that's what I, I live off of TCG now. Oh my god! So while you're looking that up, I yes. just placed an order for like 150 individual cards, um, and because there are so like a bunch of them are really obscure weird cards, and because there are so many cards, normally on TCG, this website where you can buy Magic cards, there's a button that optimizes your cart and it will put everything, all these cards from. They'll try to find like similar ma- sellers, so you get like 50 cards from one store, 30 from another, and it tries to so you get less packages. Um, it couldn't optimize my order. So I have like 54 individual packages coming Holy with crap. like 150 cards. So my USP, my the USPS man, because they always come USPS. This dude is going to kill himself. There's zero chance. <laughs> He's like, this dude's got 30 packages today. What is oh, he doing? No. He, yeah. It, and I'm building a mono blue deck now. Just one color blue wizards and artifacts. And I'm so excited. I fucking yeah. love this shit. Like all my cards are worth like, that's $70. Yeah. Like, I forgot because I was like, oh, I'll just going through my decks because I finally found all my decks. I was like, oh, I'll just bring it. No, I didn't. Why wouldn't you bring it? You knew you were coming over. Dude, my brain. Have you met me? Yeah, you're an idiot. Yes. I am too. We're all dumb. Welcome to the Unsubscribe Podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Our brains don't work. (laughs) We are smart people. No. (laughs) Because we drink. No. (laughs) Because we drink fucking bang mixes. (laughs) Yeah, this is where we are. Drink bang, it makes you fucking stupid. But yeah, new commander sets come out, or not new commander sets, sorry, new MTG set dropped today. Then the, there's another Innistrad, like it's a two part set. There's Midnight Hunt, and then the next Innistrad, I believe, is Crimson Day? Crimson Dawn? Lori? Yeah? Crimson something. And it looks super cool, and it's all about like vampires and spooky shit. Ooh, Where will we get the vampire fucking deck? Those are always terrifying. Mm. Goes with your vampire rock. Dragula's Castle. Boom. Boom. Have you ever had an Infect deck? No. Uh, no. Um, but I have Blightsteel Colossus in my Animar deck because I can basically get him out for free. And then he just one punches a player. Blight, so Infect, <laughs> Infect decks and, and Magic is like a separate way to kill players. At 20. 11. 11. Oh, yeah. If you Infect it for 11. Usually. Normally you have 40 health in magic, so you have to whittle somebody from 40 all, or in commander from 40 down to zero to, to knock them out. Mm-hmm. If you give them in fact. 11 or 10 points of infect damage, they just lose because it's harder to give somebody infect like in, that kind of damage. 
And what does, what does that mean? Infect damage. It's like poison. poison. Oh, so yeah, like poison every damage, round so. they lose life. No, the, certain creatures will do poison damage, and people can build decks around that. And it's just. A, I forgot my a my bitch. prosh. My prosh is also infect. And you're a piece of shit. You are just the worst. I that prosh. That prosh is the worst. I want to see your. Eli, show me your deck. <laughs> I will. I will. We're just coming and play. I won't even show you until we'll play. No, and then you're like, I mean, this is garbage. I mean, my deck's kind of a piece of shit, too. That's how it should be played. Is You want those garbage decks literally obliterate. I have my dwarf deck, which is a tribal deck, which is... It's one of those tribal decks. De tribal means it's one of it's based around only like dwarves, like a dwarf tribal or dragon tribal, wizard tribal. They're not competitive. Yeah, usually. What about goblin decks? That's what I used to play. Back Absolutely, in the day. you can do. There are so many good goblin cards right now. Yeah. I love. Holy, the, I love shit. playing goblin decks and classic. Oh, MTG. red dude. Oh, yeah. red, red goblin, 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 like goblin bomb, and like just like literally in my. I have goblin shoot, sharpshooter, goblin bomb. I have those in my prosh deck because you get to target players. With sacrificing um, Your creatures, creatures yeah, which are permanents now, you can do all sorts of crazy. And then shit my them. when Prosh comes in, he just fucking adds a shit ton of all my cards add a fuck ton of creatures. It's like oh, when you put this card in, depending on how many creatures you sacrifice this round, this how many creatures come into this round. So I'm like cool. I sacrifice 14 creatures and I put in 16 creatures that are three threes now with Stample. Jesus. And then you're like, oh trample. no, <laughs> yeah, no. Trample. Oh no, Eli's deck's getting out of control really quickly. <laughs> board wipe. <laughs> yeah, board wipe. Dude, we could build you. Oh, donut. I want a goblin deck. Just oh, tell me what I need. I want to play. Right. play. I'll send you a deck list. Uh, yeah, Can we start this, all this off because a couple podcasts? Like you, early the, podcast. the second podcast, we were talking about you buying magic cards. Yeah, because I bought some and you guys you were like, well, I want to get back into magic. That one. And then you met that one. That one. Little Damn, fucking she magic went. minion over there. Yeah, she got, don't open. Got don't, Cody, over there. don't do it. Dude, don't I don't want to try. I'm gonna do the strawberry one. You a good one. one. They're not good. Do the strawberry. You want some non-sugary stuff? There's I don't white claw in the pantry. I want to try the strawberry one. Okay, try it. And then we're gonna throw all these in the garbage. Uh, I'm. Uh, why am I only pulling out kittles? <laughs> you pull out of kittles. Not me. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna try the strawberry blast now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Eli, they're all so sugary. <laughs> it's so sugary. They're oh, awful. White claw now. <laughs> These are Imagine drinking something. It's so bad. You're like, man, I miss white claw. <laughs> <laughs> this is like when you're like, I want a Red Bull with sugar. In no, it. this is not. This is so much worse than Red Bull. This is awful. This, uh, this yeah, is fucking awful. This is my least favorite drink I've ever tried. I, I, this makes me miss old four loco. Like old four loco would kill you. Oh yeah, kill you. And this is worse. Yeah, that first summer that it released, it killed like seventeen college kids. Yeah, because they were just like funneling them and stuff, it's like, and their hearts were exploding. <laughs> <laughs> Heart failure. <Boom. laughs> it's like so much alcohol, but energy. Hey, hey, hey. I'm drunk and positive at the same Over time. <laughs> Overdose on taurine. <laughs> <laughs> Can we try to find? Does anyone who's listening have old four loco? Oh, we could probably find some on eBay if not. Guys, if you have old four loco, send them to us without like fentanyl in them or something. You know, or maybe just like a little bit, just not like a like, not a lot of fentanyl, like a tiny yeah. bit of. Fentanyl. Like if you're gonna oh, fuck, like, no, don't none. Just probably please. had fentanyl in them. Just yeah, you might as well. Do do we do the next episode on Delta Eight? <laughs> Oh, um, I just got a package of Delta 8 gummies from uh, John Burke's place. The um, Oh, shit. What's it called? Delta 8. I was asking about it in the group text. Yeah, Delta 8 gummies. He sent me some Delta 8 gummies. That, and it says on the package, only take half if you're trying it for the first time. And I'm like, there's no THC in this. Do Delta 8 gummies really like... They really like get you, yeah. get you a little high Did there? you do one? No, I haven't done one yet. Dude, don't do... You do said the they whole were thing. 200... No, because he said the gummies are 250... Is it 250 or the so. pack? Do a handful. 250. No, I'm pretty sure it said every single one is like 250. Do Delta 8's that powerful? Do all of them at one time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's not I can do see that. John at home right now, like, oh, <laughs> dad got candy in the mail. Oh, <laughs> you get home and John's like floating <laughs> in the middle of the room. He's just <laughs> like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> John, get down. Hello, John, so you're you're in the second floor right now, floating. <laughs> <laughs> He's an oh. omnipotent being. Yeah. Hello, father. Yeah. Hello, father. 
My oh, homework no. is complete, Father. <laughs> Where's my computer? <laughs> <laughs> now you die. <laughs> <laughs> That's his vision, your vision. He's just on the ground, just laying there drooling. <laughs> John, you good? You good? I kick him a couple times. All right. Like Let's go film kick. a podcast. Father, <laughs> where's my computer at? Dad, I need chicken nuggets. <laughs> it's completely different <laughs> conversations going down. I'm getting chicken nuggets after this. <laughs> I, want, I want chicken nuggets so you bad. Delta 8, you de- I'm going to just say, I'm going to warn you. I'm going to be like, yo, do... Like Delta 8 is supposed to do half the dosage of your normal THC. Like a gummy, you like 5 or 10 of THC. So you would do like 15 to 20 delta eight 250 that's like doing that's like me introducing you into drinking alcohol i'm like donut okay so this is a one shot is 40 percent alcohol and you'll feel it so do 10 of these here's the bottle good luck <laughs> yeah and you're just like okay i'll trust that you're like I think we should do that on the podcast but only donut and he has to eat like four at once and we just watch the downward I'm down. Do we not do, edibles with Delta Eight? Do we do okay? But that, that's the comment. Do we do Delta Eight next podcast? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the quietest podcast of all time. We're just staring. <laughs> None of us do this. I'm just gonna be like nervous. I'm like, I I'm need- just eating chicken nuggets. <laughs> We're going to need so many chicken nuggets. <laughs> I haven't done any type of like drug or anything. Bro, none of us in what's, ever. What's uh, Delta 8? A lot of people may not know what Delta 8 is. Delta 8. I just learned what it was like a month ago. So it is the legal form of THC. Instead, So you have CBD, which is completely legal. You have THC, which is apparently like Delta 9. So it's that... However, the it's got molecules, molecules go. Molecules. Yes. Molecules. Yes. It's and got it's, an atom or two yeah. in there. It's T- taking THC one away. It's the weeds. Yeah, the weeds. And then it's taking it away. So it's a legal form of that. So it's a Delta 8 variant. And hmm. then you can sell that everywhere in the United States. It's legal to consume. It's like your booze. Oh, if I have a stroke, we'll get it on camera. Bro. <laughs> We've been waiting to get canceled. That would that would be a Batty has Batty a stroke, has stroke at 20 minute mark and we're like, well, we got fucking 40 more minutes to go. Just, yeah, so we can't call the ambulance wait. now. No ambu for you, Batty. I my god. I I want to watch. Oh god, I'm going to Next podcast is going to be wild. Yeah, it's going to be boring. Yeah, we'll see. We'll make up a competition. We have to play um Delta Finished it. On Delta Eight, we have to play uh, with each other. Red card. Yes. Oh uh, my. Red flag. Uh, red flags. We need to play red flags with donut. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Dude, they're so bad. These are. I like watch people's faces when they drink them. Guys, if you're looking to drink something, this should be at the bottom of your fucking barrel. Bang oh. mix. Maybe with vodka, because that. No. Like a lot of vodka. Yeah. If like, you did our normal pours of vodka, this would a cup of cup, vodka, a cup yeah, of like vodka a splash, would a splash of this, yeah. Yeah. a little, <laughs> a little <laughs> for color. You're like, man, that actually clear, tastes no good color. now. Yeah, it's nice. It, it, it killed everything. I like it. <sighs> okay, Batty, are we uh, done? Yeah, we're done. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to even look at this bang, guys. I'm sorry, this podcast sucks. It's because it's Bang Mix's fault. It was really. Go mm. give it a try if you don't. Want. Just don't, don't actually. It tastes just like sugar. Like, it's but there's a, no sugar in it, which is no. Like, why is it? Why would you name it Kittles? <laughs> That's Who all I remember. Thought Kittles was a yeah. good name. We got <laughs> purple it's, Kittles, it's, pink it's, babies. <laughs> like, it's, it sounds like it's directed at kids, but it's alcohol. There's a no. There's a guy sitting at home who lo- loves our podcast, and he, the guy that named the Kittles. <laughs> <just> like, uh, <laughs> there, somebody's just like they're they're bang headquarters right now, and they're like, "Who thought Kittles was a good idea? <laughs> Did nobody think of no this? No one think of this. Let's name it Skrittles, Kudos. I can think of any name that starts with other than Kittles, Kit- P- P- Piddles. Piddles. Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> I like Piddles. Is it lemon? <laughs> what? This is my favorite drinks. Pink babies. 
I love drinking peak babies. You're just like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, have you tried the flavor cum? It's fucking delicious. <laughs> and with that, thank you for watching thank you. and subscribe. For watching the subscribe podcast. We're gonna start calling our podcast canceled. <laughs> what's, whoa, what's the name of this podcast? Oh yeah, Batty, this is your doing. The name of today is Don't Drink Bang Mix <laughs> or Purple Kittles with a child at the front the giving purple a thumbs Kittles. up. Just the a name purple, of, yep. just a kid with will just Photoshop purple. I feel like thumbsing up. The name of, of this episode is absolutely Purple Kittles. <laughs> I was going with cum cave orgies, but yeah, that sounds pretty okay. Good yeah. We, we, Either I or. feel like we've already done the cum episode. Did we? I think we have one. What? Purple Kittles. What purple are we doing? Kittles? Purple cum? Kittles. We're not doing. We're not doing one. purple kittles. <laughs> the name of the last one. Butterfly vinegar strokes. <laughs> the last one was butterfly vinegar strokes. People are like, "Have you checked this episode out? What's it called?" <laughs> purple kittles. <laughs> Our episodes have no <laughs> science be behind. Them. Then there's the the poop episode, like. <laughs> Casey has balls. <laughs> the episodes have no relativity. What's going on? Pokemon rape. <laughs> no, it's Machamp Grape. Or oh, yeah, Machamp, Machamp Grape. grape. <laughs> Go away, everybody. Eli, double tap. Batty streams. Dot operator. Fuck off. Mwah. <laughs>